now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Good morning, Maryland. Happy Thursday. We can see some slight breaks in the cloud deck over the Inner Harbor right now. We're currently sitting at a temperature of 74 degrees and we're still dealing with those showers still lingering across our northern suburbs and even across the lower end of the eastern shore. Uh, right now that thunderstorm cell is edging into Delaware at this moment, even dealing with some cells kind of drifting over the Chesapeake Bay about to enter Chestertown right now. Uh, visibility is a little bit more reduced out towards Westminster and north and west of the city, so just be mindful of that when you hit the roads this morning. And we're going to be dealing with these showers and even a few rumbles of thunder through the morning drive before it really starts to dry out by 8 to 9 o'clock this morning. You can see our temperatures are currently uh, set up in the mid 70s, even the lower 70s out towards Thurmont and Frederick, both sitting at 72 degrees and 73 for my family and friends up in Parkton in the Hereford zone. Heading into the afternoon, we climb to the mid 80s, eventually hitting 87 degrees by the three o'clock hour. I expect us to be in the upper 80s today, so if that is the case, then we will put an end to that heat wave that we've been dealing with for the past nine days. We'll also see increasing sunshine throughout the day. The UV index is going to be very high at a level eight. So if you're laying out by the pool this afternoon, you will see a lot of sunshine, but the UV rays will be strong. So make sure to apply that SPF 30 every two hours. The big story this morning, not just dealing with those showers this morning, but the dew point values will drop. So that's going to decrease our humidity throughout the day. It's all thanks to this cold front that's currently uh, impacting the region right now. It's going to bring those showers down towards our south and east. We will be drying out by the mid morning hours, dealing with some extra clouds as we head closer to the six o'clock hour this evening. We look to stay mainly dry right around dinner time, but this cold front up towards our north and west that is going to cross the area as we head overnight. Not only bringing us extra clouds, but also bringing winds more out of the north. So a high pressure system moves in from Canada. That is going to yield drier and cooler conditions just in time for Friday. And heading into the upcoming weekend, temperatures are going to stay slightly below average. It's been quite some time since I've been able to say that. Your comfort cast isn't looking too bad today. We still will be feeling sticky and warm out there, but falling humidity throughout the day. Dew points will be in the 50s for both Friday and Saturday making it feel very comfortable as you step out the door. Perfect for outdoor plans tomorrow or even for Saturday. A few late day showers are possible for Sunday, so can't rule that out completely. And then scattered showers back in the forecast heading into Monday to kick off early next week. Megan. Oh, I am just so excited for this weekend. Thank you, Stevie.